Hey, ke, hey, ke, hey, ke, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So, in this following tutorial, which is basically a remake tutorial on a previous being on tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how you can be able to imitate VC face expression toggles, but inside of Vignan, basically. So, um, pretty much I made an old tutorial regarding, well, I gave out a node graph, and basically it's pretty much like... It pretty much acts like VC face toggles where let's say for instance uh, for some expressions you may want to have it where you can have something like heart eyes and it can be mixed with different emotes but there may be some expressions you don't want to mix at all like let's say you got a joy face here and if I were to press on like if I press uh, number two and you know I have a little joy expression if I press let's say numpad three it will completely override the pre-existing blend shape uh so that way it doesn't mix it weirdly because if you were to just uh real quickly just to show you on the node graph if you were to just simply have it where it's hot key and then just the blend shape here it will cause your blend shapes to mix uh, now again it's okay for some expression but you may want to have some that they don't mix at all basically so in order to achieve that i made this node graph an update version because uh, the original had a lot more nodes you had to use and it was really complicated to explain. But this is a lot more simple. Even beginners will be able to easily understand how to set it up. Unless, unless by any chance uh, you still don't understand, then please let me know. But either way though, um, so pretty much uh, you, you can choose either between the hotkey and the websocket. So in the description, just letting you know, description is where you download this node graph and in case you don't know how to load it, you just click on this uh, little load button here, load the graph and it should pretty much pop up. And then you click on rename to rename the graph to its correct name basically but basically uh there should be one that's hotkey and one that's websocket if you're using a stream deck use the websocket one otherwise if you don't have a stream deck no, or you don't have touch portal or anything similar just use the hotkey version and use your keyboard to toggle your expression basically so uh right here on this left side this is pretty much where you want to put your additive blend shape so if i wanted it where it has the heart eye so let's say heart eyes Heart eyes. And then I set this to 100, set this as that, have it as toggle here. And I press on the hotkey. Basically, I can have it where I can have an additive blend shape, basically. Um, but as I said also before, that um, if I were to, let's say, have it where, let's say this is joy, right? Just to show you what I mean. Uh, joy, I'm going to have to press the number one here. So, one second, this will be angry, and this will be set to zero. So, let's say we have it as joy. This is what happens when you only just have this node. Uh, basically, it will just mix the expressions together. This is not what you want for some expressions. Again, for something like heart eyes or stars or something like that, um, you may want to have it as additive. But for cases like the angry and the joy, you may want it to be non-additive. So, this is where we'll do it. So... You already have it by default. If you are, you know, if you're only using the default VRM expressions, they should already be set up for you. So you don't have to do anything other than maybe swapping it to WebSocket if you stream deck uh, or just adjusting the hotkey here. So you could change it to be numpad seven and it can toggle that basically. Um, but otherwise though, otherwise though, um, pretty much, let's say you want to add more expressions like let's say for instance i want let me find the expression here real quick so let's say for instance i want my determined expression which looks like this i want that to become a hotkey so let's say we have an extra how do we do that allow me to show you how to do it so basically what you're going to do um you know you, after you change your hotkey stuff again you don't have to change this if you're only using the default but if you're going to add let's say just an extra one you're gonna have to do some changes so Follow through with me and I will help you out. So to start off, you're going to go to the hotkey, right click it and duplicate. Set to the hotkey that you want, let's say numpad seven. Right click on this, duplicate this, um, and then connect these two together. Set this blend shape name to be the expression that you want. If by any chance you have no idea what your blend shape name is called, go click on the monitor button right here, and then this will show you all the blend shapes that your model has. Anything that's in the green 
um, those are the blend shapes your malls has. The ones that are in white, those are just parameters, basically. So, yeah. So, only look at the green, basically. So, pretty much, you just find out which expression or which naming it was, and then you just type it out exactly as shown on the monitor, basically. So, determine. We'll type that. And, of course, it should be set to 100, basically, unless you want to change it or change the smooth multiplier to be more uh, slower or something like that. So, you can change that. Then, you're going to duplicate this one right here. So, duplicate. And then, you're going to connect this. And then pretty much what you're going to do um, for this case, you're going to have to make sure that all the expressions that you don't want to be active are placed here. So for this case, this one does not have the surprise email because this one has it where all the expressions here um, will be zero out except ex surprise when the hotkey's here. So for this case, because we want determined to be the one that talk, you know, let's say we go from surprise to determine, we want to make sure that surprise gets zero out. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this, control C, then you're going to go to this node here, go to the end, use your arrow keys to go to the end, type in a, semi, a semicolon here, and then, uh, you know, with control V, paste surprise here. And then basically here, um, you're going to copy whatever blend chip that you put, whether it's love or something like that. Uh, control C here, then you're going to go to surprise, and then again, semicolon, and then the expression that you want to zero out. And you're going to have to repeat this also for all the others too. So when you, for every time you add an expression, um, you're going to have to make sure that for all the others, they do get zero out basically, pretty much. So make sure you just double check. I would definitely recommend like play around with your blend shape in case you get lost or anything, but this should be pretty simple. Start one at a time, basically. Don't overwhelm yourself on doing multiple blend shapes at once. But either way, though, we should have a determine. So if I go from surprise to determine, as you can see, it zeroes out surprise as well as any other blend shape, basically, and it switches over to determine, basically. And pretty much you repeat the same process. So of course, if you are, again, still confused, then I would recommend replay the video over again. Probably use YouTube's uh, speed settings, because there is a little speed setting at the bottom right. Probably set that to maybe 0.70, uh, oh, I went maybe 75. It depends on how slow you want it, but use like the slow thing in case you want me to go a bit more slower. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much how you would at least add an extra expression. You just pretty much you repeat it for every expression you want. So like, um, you would duplicate hotkey, then you would duplicate this node here, name it to the blend shape you want to add, and then pretty much uh, you duplicate um. So I'll show you real quickly again, just, just to make sure actually. So we make sure that these three are duplicated from the last node at the bottom. Make sure that these are connected, click and drag. Set your hotkey to be whatever you want. Let's say we're going to name this one love, uh, name it to the blend shape you want to add. And then here, um, basically you have to find the, whatever was the previous, so whatever the blend shape node is here, you're going to add a semicolon and then copy the name at the at the end here so that way it can zero out this basically and then uh for all the other nodes above you're gonna have to type in semicolon and then the blend shape that is here basically so um i'll quickly do that right now whoopsie daisy that one says love that one is that that one and then but yeah so pretty much it's just that and that's pretty much how you can just add more to it. This isn't just limited to face expressions. This can also be for outfit toggles too, which is really nice. Uh, and I mean outfit toggles if you're using material blend shapes. If you're using avatars, like if you have multiple VRM files or multiple VSF avatar files of different outfits, then that you're going to require a different type of node for it, which I made another tutorial on how to do avatar swapping, basically. And it's, it's a pretty basic setup, so yeah. But pretty much if I were to go this, uh, as you can see, it zeroes out the previous blend shape, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can basically be able to have VC face-like expression toggles with the base expression, as well as having the ability of non, you know, of additive and non-additive. So this is non-additive and this is additive right here, basically. So yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you out and I 
th again, thank you, Suvi, so much for making this update. It makes my no toggles so much more easier to set up. Thank you, Suvi. Uh, but either way, if you have any other questions, please join the Su uh, Suvi Drills Discord server. If you have any questions regarding Vinya and such, of course, you can feel free to message me on Discord. I have a Discord server if you want to join and report your questions there. But otherwise, though, I highly recommend joining Suvi Drills Discord server because you can also download some pre-existing node graphs that you may want to use on yourself or um again because they do have a vignan dedicated area so yeah but pretty much i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye thank you so much to all my snowflake members in case you don't know i have youtube membership so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what i do then feel free to join the snowflake membership otherwise though just you guys watching is just enough support for me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. So, either way though, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!